how to make wafer cookies that are way better than store bought. I made sugar wafers earlier this week. I had some cream filling left over from the kids' cookies. My youngest was munching on her cookies and I suddenly got the idea to make wafer cookies with the leftover cream filling. The ingredients are almost the same as the sugar wafer. You need butter, sugar, egg, vanilla extract, flour, and some salt. How to make wafer cookies Thin, buttery, crisp, delicate gourmet cookie you can make with six. Prep time, 10 minutes, cook time, 15 minutes, total time. Ingredients 1 stick softened butter, half cup granulated sugar, 1 egg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 3 quarters cup all-purpose flour, 1 8 teaspoon salt. Instructions Step 1 Line the baking sheet with parchment paper and pop into the fridge to chill. Step 2 In a mixer, cream the butter and sugar over medium speed. Step 3 In a separate bowl, sift the flour. Step 4 Once the mixture is well blended, add the flour and salt. Mix again until completely combined. Step 5 Using a cookie scoop, drop small portions onto the chilled baking sheet at least 3 inches apart. Step 6 Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 7 Once oven is hot enough, bake the cookies for 7 to 8 minutes, just enough to make the edges golden brown. Step 8 Let the wafer cookies rest for at least 10 minutes on the baking sheet. Step 9 After they've cooled a bit, remove from baking sheet and let them cool completely on a cooling rack. Step 10 Serve and enjoy. Alternatives If you have a wafer iron, prepare the batter by following steps 2 to 4 above. If you're making filling from scratch, all you need is 1 quarter cup soft butter, 3 quarters cup icing sugar, 1 egg yolk, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, and food coloring of your choice. Other fillings, Nutella, peanut butter, almond butter, cookie butter, melted chocolate. Avoid jams and jellies because they technically make the way for cookies soggy due to their watery nature. If you want to use jams and jellies, use as toppings instead of fillings. Ice cream also makes a good topping. Serving Suggestions You may serve them as is. They are best paired with espresso, cappuccino, tea, or even hot chocolate for kids. I also like to dust them with icing sugar. Sometimes I use colored sugar for fun. If you like chocolate, dusting them with cocoa powder will also be a great pairing choice. You may also use them as a garnish for other sweet treats such as ice cream, pudding, or yogurt.